So today we're going to be talking about lower back pain and the exercises that I did today in my group are perfect for strengthening the lower back. Hey guys, Becca T. Vaughn here. I am the founder creator of Power Bands. You've probably seen these little trio bands a million times. If not, let me introduce you briefly to them. I'll just tell you that these three bands work every single solitary muscle of your body. Today, we're gonna to be talking about lower back pain and the exercises that I did today in my group are perfect for strengthening the lower back while they tighten, strengthen, and uh, connect stronger into our lower, into our legs and into our glutes. Now, when you have lower back challenges as I did from the time I was four years old until 42 years old, at seven years old, they diagnosed me with degenerative disc disease. At that point, I already had several challenges in my spine and it didn't get any better. By the time I was in my 30s, I was asking the doctors to fuse my bones in my spine. And thank goodness they didn't because what they told me was when you start fusing them, obviously you ha don't have the mobility to do all the activities that I was engaged in doing. But at that point I was ready to give them all up. No, at that, when you start doing that, it starts going to the next bone, to the next bone, to the next bone. They told me by the time I was in my 50s, I wouldn't even be possibly walking. So as you can see, I definitely walk. And as I'm here to share with you, I don't have lower back pain. I don't have pain at all, especially considering that I've been struck by cars on bicycles and rollerblades three times. One time I was going 21 miles an hour. So to say that I have um, outstanded all odds and, um, is, is to say the least. What do I do to create or to lessen my load on my back? I've strengthened my core and I've strengthened my legs. These big legs have done me well and thank goodness for the doctors who shared with me to really strengthen my core and strengthen my legs at a very young age. Um, couple that with a really strong shoulder, arm system, back system, I've been able to overtake all the trauma that has been brought to my spine at this point now. I'm told I have nine degenerated discs, uh, four in my neck, five in my lower back. I have osteoarthritis, osteo, um, I have all kinds of osteos. <laughs> I have all kinds of troubles in my back, but not to go into the troubles in my back. Let's go into the hoorays of my back. I don't have pain. So with all these things, how do I not have pain? I can tell you when I don't work out, I am in pain. So if you're not working out and you're not, and you are in pain, I'm gonna share with you that baby steps will strengthen and take away the pain, coupling it with, of course, an anti-inflammatory based meal plan. And I don't know about you, but at that point, when I started really learning about nutrition and how it could change the way my health was going, I was all about learning all the tools and tactics that it took. Now, of course, for me, it's been over a 30 year journey, uh, almost a 40 year journey that I have been on to get really strong, get healthy, feel good. So I am always looking for new ways and I'm sure you are too. And there's nothing short of feeling good and having the best strength of your body, of your mindset, having peace and happiness within then, I mean, you, can, you can't buy that. So here I am sharing with you a couple of exercises, four to be exact, that are gonna strengthen your legs, your glutes, and take a load off of your back while we also do strengthen in the lower back. All right, so tightening the lower back, taking the load off the back, and tightening your, um, tightening and shortening the muscles from all the sitting, not exercising, getting the, they get tighter, right, they shrink, they actually even reduce in size up to 30% by the time we're in our 50s and 60s. So we need to reverse engineer and strengthen our muscles, stretch our muscles, and tighten them at the same time while, can, uh, while making long, strong muscles. That's where resistance bands come into play. You're not gonna get this from traditional weights. You're not gonna get this from traditional body 
uh, body weight working either. You're only going to get this with resistance training and uh, things like yoga or Pilates. All right, so I'm going to show you today these four exercises that together are going to take extra pressure off of your back while strengthening your back. Um, weak glutes, <laughs> these girls, right, or guys, uh, contribute to lower back uh, specifically. And so if you don't have strong glutes and you have a bad back, it would be one of the first things I would say pay attention to. I've also found extra tight calves, extra tight hamstrings from uh, sitting all day long while the quads are imbalanced from being stretched all day long contribute tremendously to lower back challenges. So I'm gonna show you now four exercises. We're gonna use just the sexy flexi and a disc. You don't need the sexy flexi. You could do these just by without any bands at all. And if you don't have a disc, you can use a dish towel, a paper plate, or even your socks. So here are the exercises. Let me go up, put this down just a tad bit. All right, so focusing on these, we're gonna do one, a slide down where you can face your chair. If you do face something to hold on to, which is gonna give you extra support, especially if you're new at this, I suggest holding on to a kitchen counter, a desk, or some kind of high back, something that does not roll. <laughs> I love it when people use some, like a, a desk chair. No, don't use something that's unstable. So you, I'm gonna actually switch legs here so you can see. So we're gonna bring this leg close to the straight surface so that we're not leaning into it. A lot of people, when they do things like this, they will have their surface, and then they're gonna lean back. I don't want you leaning back because that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your back. So we're gonna start close up, bring our hips straight up, keep our body straight. We're gonna lean back and watch this knee, how it does not move forward or backwards. I've got all of my weight into my heel, very little weight on this foot that's in the back. Now I'm gonna use this leg to pull me back up. Now if you can't go that low and this is where you're comfortable going, that's perfect. As you get stronger into your hamstring, glutes, and quads, you're gonna find that you can go lower and lower. All right, so we're gonna come down to a beat of three, coming back up for one. Then we're gonna do a curtsy. So again, coming down, but this time coming across our body, pressing all the way through into our glute, uh, hamstring, and quad. Quad's gonna pull us back up and then back down. All right, so there's your, your curtsy. Showing it from a front view, it's gonna look like this. Coming down into a curtsy, and then coming back up. Literally, curtsy to the queen, and come back up. And then our next one is gonna be a quad circle. Now, I'm gonna be using my sexy flexi. If you don't have a band, that's totally fine. You can even put like a jug of water on your leg and do it. So we're gonna take this, put our feet through the handles, Lift up, keep it up tight, flex out that foot, and do circles around for 20 seconds, keeping it nice and tight, and then doing it the other way, showing you from the side view, coming in, and keeping it tight. Now look at your posture while you're doing this. Your abs are connected. You are using your abs, you're using your glutes, you're using your quads, your hands, your hip flexors, and then we'll reverse it the other way. Again, I know this looks easy, but with the band, it takes it to a whole other level, and it, it builds the muscles while strengthening the muscles and adding what we need to make our back stronger. The le I'm sorry, the next exercise is going to be inner, inner thigh. Now, this one really takes the back to a whole new level, so we're going to take it, just flip our foot around so our inner ankle is facing forward, bending gently into this knee into the stabilized leg and pressing forward and kind of using like a bungee resistance as it bounces back, you push it back, all right? I gotta tell you something. <laughs> These four moves are absolutely ridiculous. So if you don't have my sexy flexi, <laughs> you can still do these exercises by coming here. You'll probably come a little bit higher, but I want you to make sure that this knee is gently bent 
And what I find a lot of times when people are doing this exercise, they will kind of like arch down into their spine. Their back is not straight. They've got to roll through here. Their abs are just falling out. Roll your shoulders up, lift your chest up, lead through the diaphragm. Abs are connected in nice and tight, right? Roll it back, then bend down with your other leg and press out. Now you're in a great position. You will not be using your back. You're gonna be strengthening your back while you're focusing on your inner thighs. So let's get this workout started. I've gotta to get to my, my people. So I'm gonna show you one round, the whole thing, and you guys do the rest. You guys ready? All right, 40 seconds. Each exercise is just 40 seconds. 20 second breaks in between. Here we go. Bringing it down and up. Three, two, one, and then up. Bring it down. Two, three, and up. You can do it without holding on to something that's fine, that's perfect, that's harder. But if you're going to hold on to something, I recommend facing the object versus trying to come onto the side. It's going to throw you back your balance off. One more time. And back up. Next one is curtsy. We're going to do the same leg. So it is still working and activated. Coming on down. Get for 20 seconds. Hope everybody's doing good. I see some people jumping in there. Hi, everybody. All right. Let me know if you like these, if you do it. So you do a little curtsy, come back up nice and strong. Little curtsy, not too much weight on this foot. All the weight is in this foot, into that heel, kind of into the pinky toe. Your toes should be like curled up. Make sure they're not curled in your shoe, holding on tight. Relax that foot, lift those toes up, come back up. Inhale down and then come back up. Here's what it looks like from the side. And then coming back up. Give me one more. Excellent. All right, so the same leg is going to get the, the quad lift in circles. Pause can be death defying. Lift it up, circle for 20 seconds. Connecting that breath, abs are tight, shoulders are pressed back and down. So we don't want those shoulders up here. Don't hold yourself tight. 20 seconds, one direction. Give me two more here. That's it, reverse it out. Lift up, push through it. Keep it in that tight zone, don't come down here. No, 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 stay up. Wherever high is, if you don't have bands on, then you go as high as you can and keep it in that small, tight circle right there. Give me three more, two more, last one. Excellent. We're gonna go in for the inner thigh. So turn it. Now I know the camera angle might be kind of funky, but my inner thigh is directly pointed straight in front of me. Now it is. <laughs> and it is tight against the band. This knee is gently bent, shoulders are back, and back is protected. Good, abs are tight, connecting that breath, getting in with this little bungee position here. As soon as it bounces, it pump, goes back out. I gotta tell you something, I'm, I'm actually breaking out into a sweat. <laughs> is that crazy? Yes, and as you can tell, my heart rate is going up. I'm getting a little out of breath even just from doing this. Keep going. Eight more seconds left. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys. I gotta go get ready for my members workout now. I hope that was helpful and supportive for you. And uh, you need to go do that on the other leg repeat the whole cycle on each of your legs. I will talk to you tomorrow, signing out, protect your lower back and eat clean. Create your best day ever. Bye you guys.